Back in 1988, Altered Beast was a high-profile project from Sega, who published both the arcade cabinet and console versions. They produced the PCB board for cabinets, and would go on to handle the release on their own consoles, the Master System and Mega Drive. Some consider Altered Beast to be one of the best games to emerge from a golden age of arcade play. Others will tell you it's an awful experience, riddled with bad mechanics, poor movement and inconsistent combat. UK magazine Mega included it in their top 10 worst Mega Drive games of all time, but enthusiasts will often talk about how groundbreaking it was, so opinion is very much split. But it's the ending of the game that's perhaps the most surreal. As the game opens, the god Zeus booms out that immortal line, Rise from your grave. Rise from your grave. And our hero, an unnamed centurion, must slowly plod through scrolling levels, fighting creatures spawned from the underworld. It's a plot that is ultimately forgettable. You were saving Zeus's daughter Athena, because most of us played for three glowing orbs that would appear in the battles. Collecting these would gradually power up the centurion, boosting his damage until he transforms into a beast ready for the boss fight. Many will remember the first incarnation, the wolf, who could dash forwards and back in a triangle-shaped burst of power, or punch forwards, unleashing a ball of energy to kill his foes. It's tough to find many people who can name all of the transformations, as Altered Beast was insanely difficult. For those who, like many, gave up after the first boss fight, our centurion went on to morph into other creatures. In the second level, the player would become a dragon, who shot fireballs or unleashed an electricity attack around its body. The third level held a bear, who would flip through the air in a ball, while the fourth brought out a tiger, who specialised in vertical offensive moves. The last level took you back to the wolf, but this time it was a golden wolf. A special wolf, something a little more powerful for that final boss fight. And although the boss changed form each time, it was always Neff who'd wait for you decked out in his purple cloak, blasting lightning from his fingertips like a Sith Lord. His voice would creak through the soundboards. Welcome to your doom. Welcome to your doom. Before transforming into a monstrous creature that most hardware struggled to render properly. What most players would never see was the ending of the game, which Yoshida designed to be rather off the wall. If a player made it to the end of the game, the demonic creatures would remove their heads, revealing an actor in a costume. You see, it was all just a movie, and the cast broke out mugs of beer to toast the rap of the film. Altered Beast, or Beast King Chronicle as it was known in Japan, managed to troll the player throughout. If it wasn't with intense action sections or difficult platforming movement, it was with this ludicrous ending. So that's the ending of Altered Beast Explained. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, click the boxes on the left for more content from us, and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features, right here on Games Radar Plus.